Hello everyone, welcome to Lisa and Will's Halls. Today I wanted to do a tryout of my egglets and a review to see what I think about it. So let's see how this works. I have my water starting to boil and while that's boiling, I'm going to get the egglets out and let's see what we have so when to I do. open the box it has a instructions and recipe book and it tells you how to use them and then it gives you the recipes and then next this is how it will be inside then you just open up your little egglet top and there's a little piece of yellow paper inside take these and wash these out and i'll be right back instruction stated to put some oil in so i'm going to put in my olive oil i'm just going to put a little in and it said to make sure that the olive oil is coating all of the inside so i'm going to take it and put the top on and just shake them both around so I have them coated everywhere. Now I have my oil coating the egglet. Now I'm just going to put in the eggs. It said to make a hard boiled egg, you just crack it open and place it in. So that's what I'm going to do with these first two. And then I'm going to place the lids on. And now I'm gonna make me some omelet egglets as well. And I'll be now right I put back. four eggs in a bowl and I have my Dollar Tree whisk. I love these little whisk and all the little um, kitchen utensils in this little size. I use them every day. So I'm gonna whisk this up really well. And it states you can add cheese to this or different cheeses. And I have cut up some onions and some bell peppers. So I'm going to be making this little omelet. Cheese left over from some fajitas we had the other night. So I'm just going to add some of my onions in. I love onions. I'm going to add some bell peppers in. And then I'm just going to give that a little whisk around. Okay, and now I'm going to put this inside my egglet. Looks like I'm going to have a lot left over. I can make some more omelets after I use these up, get these made up. And then I'm just going to put a little cheese on, as it said you could do in the instruction book. I have my water bowl into a rapid boil. So I'm going to put these lids on. And now I have my water rapidly boiling and I'm going to place it in. And it is floating. You want it to be floating. Those are my hard boiled egg ones. And these are my uh, omelet ones. So I'm just going to shake my omelet ones around and drop them in. And it says to let them boil for, let's see here. Um, hard boiled 13 to 16 minutes and my omelet 13 to 15 minutes and it does show you how to do each one so now I'm going to set my time and I'll be back when they're done and we'll see how this came out we'll keep a check on this and make sure that they're floating because um, it did state that you don't want them touching the bottom so with it boiling rapidly like this I'm going to keep an eye on it so that they won't touch the bottom. Okay, so now I've had my egglets in for 10 minutes. So I still have a few more minutes and they're just bopping all around in the water. Now my little egglets are floating around. They've turned over now on the sides. Okay, I've had mine boiling now for the 16 minutes. It does say that you can boil it longer or you may need to, but we're gonna do the 16 minutes as I said. So I have my Dollar Tree marbleized plate and my tongs from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to remove all these out 
of the pot. So you want to be very careful not to touch these when you're taking them out of the pot. I'm having a little trouble with this one. There we go. Oops. Well, I'm just going to turn the video off and I'll be back when I get it out. I have them all out of the pot and placed on my plate to cool. You can put it on whatever I'm sure you want to to cool. And I'm going to read the directions because I'm doing this as I go along and see how long I should leave it in before I remove it. It states here that once cooked and cooled, twist the cap to remove. So I'm just going to let this sit here and cool off. And then it does say squeeze gently or shake egg onto plate. To help loosen your egg from egglet, run a spoon around the inside of the cup between the egg and the egglet. So I may have to do that if it doesn't slide out easily. And I'll be right back when this cools All off. All right, so they've cooled off enough now to where I could touch them. And you kind of want them to be a little warm, I would think, to eat them, unless it's your hard-boiled eggs. So I'm just going to unscrew this off. And we'll see. Um. Oh, First up is my omelet. I thought it was the hard boiled one. I didn't look well enough, but it's the little omelet. It came right out. And it does look like an egg shape. I did have my spoon right here prepared just in case I had to use it and they didn't come out. So let's see. Okay. This is the hard boiled egg. It is not coming out. So I am going to have to use a spoon to get it out. And that's simple, and it came out. All right. Let's see what we have in this one. It's the other hard-boiled egg, and I'm going to have to use the spoon to go around and get it out like it stated. And now my next omelet egg. Let's see if it comes out easy as well. Okay, so the omelets came out easy without the spoon. And the hard boiled eggs, I did have to use the spoon. My eggs are done. I'm going to cut it open so we can see how it looks. And is it cooked well enough? And it seems to be. And now let's try our hard boiled egg and see if that was enough time. Oh yes, it was enough time. Oh my goodness, I gotta pick it up and show you. I love how it came out because it came out without the tan or browned or black ring. You know how that comes out a lot in the eggs? But this, not at all. So that's pretty good. And now let's do this one. Amazing! So, I'm going to give the egglets a big thumbs up. I mean, I just love how it doesn't have the black or brown rings around your egg yolk. So, I've got my Dollar Tree Himalayan salt and some black pepper. And I'm going to put some all around. I love pepper. The more pepper, the merrier. Will cannot eat pepper. Fresh, he can have it cooked in his food, but not fresh. He sneezes a million times when he has pepper. I mean, he cannot stop sneezing. And then I'm just gonna put a little salt. And now I'm gonna give it a taste test. I'm gonna try my omelet first and see how that is. Mmm, very tasty. Now I'm gonna try my hard boiled egg and see how that came out. Mmm, good. So, this is my review on the egglet. Excuse me, I'll be right so back. So my review on the egglet, my thoughts on it are, this is a great product for $1 at Dollar Tree. I have had people tell me that these are $10 at Dollar General. My sister-in-law does work at Dollar General. She said they're on her shelves right now for $10. I sent in the comments below that CVS had them for $4.99 on sale. So for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, a big thumbs up. And 
work perfect for me if you just follow the directions it should work as well for you so i hope you all enjoyed my review and demonstration of the egglets leave in the comments below if you have tried the egglets before or if you're on the hunt for it or if you're interested in getting the egglets but it is the egglets as seen on tv this worked out really good i'm really pleased with this so i hope you all enjoyed it everyone have a great day and a wonderful upcoming weekend and until next time bye everyone